What the fuck is up YouTube? My name is John and welcome to This Shit's Metal. Today I'm going to be reviewing Thy Art is Murder's new album, Dear Desolation. Go! Thy Art is Murder is one of my personal favorite bands in metal, period. The combination of influences from Meshuga, Decapitated, and Behemoth has continued to play a major part in the development of their sound. And there's no denying their own creative ideas and passion for metal. I jam their albums Hate and Holy War on a daily basis, and I simply can't get enough of that brutally intense and aggressive style, be it vocally or instrumentally. These guys immediately established themselves in the deathcore scene with their debut album Infinite Death. But over time, they have taken a slightly different approach to their style, with more death metal influences leading up to Dear Desolation. The band had this to say in regards to their subgenre. I don't I don't really know what genre we belong in, but metal. Yeah. I do I generally feel like that, but it's to the point now where Yeah, we might as well just be for ourselves a deathcore team, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> we're we're definitely more on the death metal side, but you know, long live deathcore. Long live deathcore indeed. Regardless of what subgenre these guys identify themselves as now or before, I know this shit's gonna be metal as fuck and I am so stoked to review this album. This isn't a reaction video unlike my first reaction review for Wage Wars Deadweight album. So I won't be going through and reacting to each song, but rather mention my top five favorites, leaving the rest of the album for you to discover, while also talking about the album as a whole, giving a rating out of 10 at the end. Consider this a legitimate review, but remember that this review as well as my past and future reviews are all based upon my own opinion. So with all that being said, let's get into it. Now, when comparing this album to previous albums, the differences aren't so black and white if you aren't overly familiar with this band and the differences between death metal and death core. They still very much sound like The Artist's Murder with fast-paced riffing, intense and unique blast beating, crazy harsh vocals, and explicit topics. But the differences this time around are found in some of the topics themselves, as well as the overall complexity of each track. With guitarist Andy Marsh stating, a little bit more repetitive, focusing on one strong idea rather than many others that don't have as great of an impact and lyrically it's less hating at religion more about politics social cohesion and conformity and rebelling against that conformity environmental impact and global warming treating the animals nicely and a lot of songs hinge on the concept of mortality and its influence on morality which i personally think rings true to the first song on the album slaves beyond death which is also my fifth favorite track on the record a really solid opening track for the album i think it sets the tone pretty well for what's to come it's raw gritty and intense as fuck throughout the entire song which spoiler alert the rest of the tracks are as well. It's a little more repetitive, but definitely nothing that bores me. To me, it seems to revolve around the idea of the lacking of consequence and responsibility in humanity, and the endless servitude to the outcomes it produces, which I think is a profound message. But accurately perceiving the full message of any song is ultimately up to the listener. The riffing is simple enough, yet heavy as fuck, and there's definitely some death metal influence there, which I am 100% okay with. It doesn't hurt their sound at all, and in my own opinion, makes them sound heavier than before. Overall. A really great track. My fourth favorite track on this album is Into Chaos We Climb. I've noticed a huge amount of influence from Behemoth in this album, particularly in this track, Death Dealer, Fire in the Sky, and The Final Curtain. And I love it. It's heavy as shit and totally carries some of the weight in the tone setting for this album. Very thought-provoking shit. My third favorite track on this album is Fire in the Sky. The name itself kind of hit home for me a little more than it might for most people. I remember watching the 90s classic Fire in the Sky about an alien abduction with my dad when I was a kid, and although this track doesn't seem to have anything to do with the movie, and definitely doesn't seem to have anything to do with aliens, this track sets a, a decent tone that is reminiscent to the film for myself at least, and I, I really enjoy that. Like I said before, more behemoth influence in this one. It really is a shame that Nurgle won't feed with these guys after they've asked for like the last three albums in a row, I think. What the fuck, Nurgle? Either way, love the song. My second favorite track on this insane fucking album is the album track itself, Dear Desolation. This is the song that I definitely have the most fun headbanging to. It immediately starts off blasting away with some brutal as fuck death metal riffing and carries the same pace through each phrase, ultimately through the entire song. My favorite part about this song are definitely the two drops that are followed by the lyrics, no sense in pretending we deserve a fucking happy ending because in reality, we don't. In the grand scheme of life and the universe, 
Nobody here deserves a fucking happy ending. And this song sets the perfect mood for sending such a profound message. I also extremely enjoy the solo that is in between both drops. It's thrashy as fuck, as if it was pulled straight from the late 80s thrash metal scene, but still relevant to the style that Thy Art is Murder is exercising right now. An epic fucking track. And now, last but certainly not least, my number one favorite track on this album is by far Puppet Master. Oh yeah, baby, feed me that succulent hatred for religion I know and love from Thy Art is Murder. If you're already a fan of this band, then I have no doubt that this track will easily become one of your favorites, as it rings true to and adds to their extremely aggressive, anti-religious deathcore style. I absolutely can't stand religion, and I'm also a huge advocate for thinking for your fucking self and questioning all things rather than having false truths crammed down your throat by people who can't get through their daily lives without believing in some fairy tale. I personally believe that religion is a cancer on humanity and will only ever destroy while wearing a shroud of false safety from whatever it deems as evil. So it's definitely a message that I resonate with. Not to say it's not that way with the other tracks. I also fucking love it when the vocals match the intense riving and phrasing as perfectly as it does for this track. It makes for an epic scream along. This is the track I personally think I'll be repeating the most. However, the entire album is a definite must have for all metal fans of intensity, aggression, provocative topics, and powerful messages. I implore you to take the time to discover the rest of this album for yourself and hopefully you fall in love with it like I did. This album touches many important topics that are extremely relevant in today's society with powerful messages that just need to be heard. It still manages to touch religion without it being its main focus and I think that's a nice step forward for Thy Art is Murder. It feels as brutal as it sounds, causes uncontrollable headbanging, and definitely leaves you wanting more which is always a fantastic thing for any band to achieve. And so I am in no way ashamed to give this album a perfect 10 out of 10 and it has made it into my top five albums of 2017 along with slaughter to prevails misery sermon and fit for an autopsy's the great collapse so if you haven't checked those out i'll have a slew of links in the description below thanks for checking out this metal review if you enjoyed please leave a like and a comment talking about your favorite track on the album or tell me my opinion of shit and the album sucks dick it's up to you and don't forget to subscribe my name is john with this shit's metal and until next time have a metal fucking day You know, long live Deathcore.